Hi everyone, it's Plastic EP coming in from Melbourne, Australia. Coming in from New Mexico, we've got Kathy C.C. Carlson. And coming in from Las Vegas, we got the beautiful and talented Chesney Claire. Let me tell you, Chesney, before we start, Viva! Viva! Las <laughs> Vegas! Viva! <laughs> I love it. I can't. my kind of girl She's my kind of girl Soon you'll be close to me Cause you mean the most to me You're my kind of girl Yes, you're my kind of girl That's it. Here we are on Gem Stars, as I said, with the fantastic Chesney. Now, before you start, Kathy. This young lady here has had so many big raps from all these big artists coming out and supporting her. I mean, I'm just amazed. I was reading about the Righteous Brothers. I was reading about all these other people. Just tell me, Chesney, what's it like now going up the ladder? And you won a lot of awards as well. Go through that for us. Um, it's been super great. I've uh, I've met a lot of people here, met a ton of people in Las Vegas in the music industry. And uh, the Righteous Brothers being one of them, um, I'm taking vocal lessons and and going to meet with him like every week, um, just to keep up with stuff and keep stuff going. I've met um, the Grammy winners as yet; they were a big group in the early 2000s, late 90s, and uh, lots of other people. The Commodores I've met, I've uh, I've had a connection with them on the internet, and they've uh, given me a great endorsement. Um, lots of stuff is happening and it just feels so great because that's what I'm working for. <laughs> feels great. Well, I've got to say where you are there, you're in the entertainment capital of the world there. And that's a great thing about it being there in Vegas. Let me tell you, I mean, the world's looking so bright and shiny for your career. It's going to be amazing. And I'll tell you what, I've seen your videos and I've heard your songs and they're great. You agree, Kathy? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Candles, which um, Chesney actually wrote when you said you had COVID. You had yeah. COVID as Yeah, I, I, I went to a <laughs> Halloween party, which was not a good idea. And I got it at the beginning of November. I was in bed feeling really, really bad for for the next week and or so, week and a half. And um, I really honed in on writing, um, not only in that week, but during the whole lockdown, the whole pandemic. Uh, Got some great stuff written, and now I'm just placing things where they need to go before they before they're actually released and heard. So super excited about that. Well, yeah, I mean, because I read that you you wrote 47 original songs even before the start of the pandemic. So I don't yeah. know how many you've written since then. <laughs> it's 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 quite a number. I don't know either, but it's quite a number. <laughs> And I've heard because we were just talking before the show aired that you all are also working with Nashville and uh, your your co-writing and writing with uh, Nashville writers. Is that correct? Yes, they're awesome Nashville writers too. They're uh, one of them is the winner of a season of Songland on NBC. I don't know if you've heard of it, mm -hmm. um, but he did write a song for Julia Michaels. And uh, it became an awesome hit. So we wrote one together and it is amazing. It's in the process of being produced right now, uh, waiting for the tracks to get sent back to me and I can send my voice back to him and, and it'll all be complete. But that's the next one I'm, I'm wanting to release. Well, that means you're going to be a crossover artist. A lot of people yes. wait like decades to become one. It looks like you're going to become one really so shortly. So that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope so. I just want to go through all the awards because with the 2021 finalist uh, for the International Singer Songwriter Association, you have received um, winner of the Music Video of the Year for 2021, Female Songwriter of the Year, Female Single of the Year, Young Adult Artist of the Year, and Wowzers, Female Vocalist of the Year. Only one. I mean, that's totally amazing. Do you want to just talk about your journey and just how it all happened, like, like all at once like this? 
Um, I thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much. It it means a lot because that's what I work for. I work for the acknowledgments and and you know people listening to me. Um, so I just woke up one morning and I got um, something on Facebook that showed me that I had won all these things. I had been nominated for all these things, and I was like, "What? What in the world?" So <laughs> I I was first on it. I was thanking everybody. I was thanking everybody for for you know putting me up there in the in the list of people who get nominated. Um, super awesome and uh, really appreciative of all that. And and uh, good things are coming from that. I recently won um, this award for the world songwriting awards for my song come alive that just got released um so good things are just coming and coming i i also recently uh got nominated for a josie music award um and the awards are held a little bit later on in the year in pigeon forge and so i'm looking looking forward to to being there and seeing if i get something <laughs> Well, with your track record, my goodness, as soon as you release them, you get an award for it. So that's fantastic. Can you talk a little bit about your FM radio stats? Because that's pretty amazing as well. Um, Thank you, you. Yeah, you had um, adult contemporary 40 uh, on the 40 charts on national radio hits number 16. You got a, a top 30 countdown with independent music network at number 8. You got another adult contemporary top 40, number 20 on New Music Weekly, and a Las Vegas Regional Reverb Nation at number five. And you already mentioned the Josie Music Awards. This is fantastic. Thank you. I'm actually number five, uh, number number three now in Las Vegas on Reverb Nation, and it's climbing, and I'm like, ah, because <laughs> it's it's almost seems like it's happening so fast, and it's it's just amazing. I'm I'm very blessed. I feel lucky to uh to be right now surrounded by all the people that I'm surrounded by that are willing to help me get to where I want to get. So. Yeah. Well, Thank you. Not, they wouldn't be surrounding you. So this is wonderful. <laughs> and one thing I really can say as an Air Force veteran, you're also work, working with the Wounded Warrior Project, and you're going to put on a huge show um, September 11th. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So on, I recently... Um, I recently did a live stream for Wounded Warrior Project. I partnered up with them and uh, raised a bit of money for them. My brother was in the army and he had he was diagnosed with war induced PTSD and in 2016 he overdosed and he passed away. And so I like to I like to give back as much as I can cuz you know my brother didn't get to live that life so I'm trying to let other people be able to have the life that they they need to have because uh definitely have a big place for veterans my grandfather was one um and i thank you for your service um but yeah on on september 11th i got invited um i got invited to perform uh at harley davidson right by the welcome to las vegas sign um and there's going to be lots and lots of veterans there um i've recently been lots of places surrounded by veterans and uh, i think that's another calling of mine is to to give back to that community yeah most certainly i mean i was reading that not only are you going to uh, honor vets there you're going to honor the um heroes and the first responders right yes so definitely big place for them too and all the work they do so yes. you grew up in louisiana i did <laughs> <laughs> I can I hear that accent one more time? <laughs> I came right from Louisiana. <laughs> moved to Branson. I mean, then yeah. you discovered. So, how was it like living in Branson? How long did you live there? I lived there for about six months. That was kind of my figuring out what I'm going to do space. So, I graduated high school in 2019 in Louisiana. Uh, I was born and raised there, and um, my family, my family started not falling apart. But like my brother passed away, and my grandparents passed away, and my my dad had left, and so it was just me and my mom. And we're like, what are we gonna do? I still didn't know like what I was gonna do. I was enjoying doing gigs in in country bars in Louisiana, um, and then I was like, let's move to Branson, just get a new fresh start. 
within a week of living in Branson, I had decided to go to a recording studio and uh, I recorded five covers and um, I went into a shop in Branson and I played my song that I had just recorded for the woman working behind the counter because she was asking, you know, what we were doing here. And I guess it was just music then. So another lady walked in and she heard my song playing and she goes, what are you is that you? And I said, yes, ma'am. And she goes, can you be on stage tomorrow with three songs ready? And I said, yep, I can. And so I went there and I performed with people who had their own venues and uh, it was a really great experience. And then I realized like, you know, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. So um, started doing it, moved to Las Vegas to get, um, get more involved with everybody here. Yeah, so then I was reading as well that you released six cover singles right after that with music producer Rich Brown of Atlantis Recording. Yep, he's the he's the producer that produced my covers in uh in Branson. He was awesome at what he did. Uh, big thanks to Rich if you're if you're watching. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, when you got the music inside you, and you know, Kathy, I don't have to say anything, right? But we're people that have got the music within us, and music just flows. I mean, my life wouldn't be anything without music. You agree, Kathy? Yeah, I agree. I mean, I agree too. I mean, you're doing seven podcasts now, right? Plastic and it. I'm know. doing eight podcasts. No big deal. But you know, one thing I'll tell you, Chesney, which is really great. As I said, an up-and-coming artist. I look at my life, and I started writing songs all my life, and now I know my age. I don't want to tell you how old I am because I look young, but I'm not that young. But have a guess how many original songs I've written in my lifetime. They'll give you an idea of if you write songs nonstop, how many songs you can actually do originals. Have a guess. Um, 300. Higher than that. Um, 500. No, in my lifetime, my life. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How many? Now have a guess. It's in the thousands. Okay. Oh, two thousand, like Kathy said. Yeah, a little bit higher. A little bit oh higher. Oh my gosh! Uh, congrats to you. Um, three thousand. No, two thousand four hundred. That's where I'm at. A hundred albums. I wanted to get wow. to a hundred albums, and I got there. And that was my lifetime achievement. It's no. true. Kathy knows. But as I said, this is why everyone's different and comes from a different album. But you know what? you got a fantastic voice. You know, I've noticed that with artists, do you know yourself, Kathy? People that write songs, they might not be the greatest singers. I'm not Elvis. I'm not trying to be Elvis. I'm trying to be me. So when I write a song, I'm actually writing it for me. Right. But what I'm saying is when you're able to sing like yourself, you've got that whole scope of what you want to sing. You want to do pop, you can do pop. If you want to do country, you can do country. If you want to do soul, you can do soul. There isn't anything that you don't know what you can do. That's right. What I'm trying to say is if you can sing the whole scope of things, whether it's pop songs, love songs, you know, ballads. I mean, you got no idea where this can take you to when you've got that versatility. That's what I'm trying to say. You agree, Kathy? Well, I agree because it was proven, Chesney, saying uh, the, the version of uh, cover of Bad. By Michael Jackson. I mean, how many women can sing that? <laughs> I did. That was one of my covers that I, I completed in Branson. Uh, super yeah. cool cover, super slow and, and chill. And I, I just thought it was a cool rendition of Bad. And uh, it ended up getting lots and lots of love. So that was a good idea. And thank you so much, Plastic, for, for saying that about me. I appreciate it. Well, you got to understand something. i got to be honest, right? I might have this talent for songs, but I know myself, my limits, and I know. I'm not a great singer, right? I'm being honest. But when it comes to songs, it's like I don't even think. I just do. It's just what I'm trying to say is if you commit yourself to something a 1,000% and you love it, like I committed myself 10,000%, and all I said is I want to write songs, and that's all I did, it's like there's the love there. If you write songs and you go and record and you do it on a frequent basis, you only get better and the world's open to you. This is what I like about young talent, Kathy, right? Young yeah. talent is all there. I mean, I don't want to ask you your age, all right? But I know you're young, for example. You've got the whole world in front of you now. Like, 
How great is that? It but, feels great. And I mean, um, plastic, just the fact that um, Chesney has her own publishing company at this age. I mean, talk about being focused. I mean, that's super cool. I have a great, I have a great momager that put me on that, that told me to do that. So I like the way you got momager, meaning oh, your mom's yeah. the manager. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Listen, I don't want to say anything. All right. Did you used to watch the Partridge Family? Um, I didn't. No. You I know the watch, Partridge I used to watch family. Disney Channel. <laughs> the mum was the manager, and then the manager became the manager on the TV show. That's a great show. Have you not seen that with David Cassidy? I don't believe so. I, I mean, I know, but I haven't watched it. And look up the Partridge family. They've got some fantastic songs there. You'll love it. Going back to the 70s. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Classic nostalgic acts. Like, you know, of course, the Beatles, the Monkees. Oh, that. yeah. Love so, nostalgic stuff. Yeah. I'm really into 90s stuff. Are you? Yes. Who are you into in the 90s? Like, Sorry? Who, which artists do you like? I mean, um, you know... Mm, you know, I don't know if this is considered, I mean, it's not even my genre of singing, but uh, early 2000s, 90s, like I love Nirvana. <laughs> I love Nirvana. And it's it's so completely not me, but that's, that's that I love it. And it's because my brother, my brother was uh, nine, nine years older than me. So he, I, I saw all of his music before I learned, you know, what I liked. And so uh, I was surrounded by all that early, early 2000s, late 90s stuff. And I love it all. Chesney, I've got to ask you, are you a Beatles fan? A Beatles fan? Yeah. I hate to say no, but it's I've never taken the time to, to really study the Beatles. I've never. Okay, you know why I say that? You know why I say that? Because I believe everybody's a Beatles fan. It doesn't that matter. What time period you come in, you're going to go to the Beatles to watch them because they're the greatest songwriters of the 20th century and forever. Paul McCartney and John Lennon wrote the greatest songs. But oh, what yeah. I'm trying to say is doesn't matter when you're born. Like, for example, my sister grew up with ABBA. She still ends up with the Beatles. I grew up with the Monkees. I still end up with the Beatles because the Beatles are like it. I love it. And I've actually, I want to watch the documentary on the Beatles. I saw that they had a, a new thing out, I think on Hulu, uh, that I've been looking at and I've been waiting to watch. So that's uh, coming. In, let me tell you, that's coming in November. It's a three part series, right? Two hours, two hours, and two hours in November. And I've got to say something. I was fortunate enough to interview Michael Lindsay Hogg, who filmed all of the Get Back and the Let It Be movie. I was fortunate enough to interview him. And what happens is Peter Jackson, the guy that did The Hobbit that's in New Zealand, he's the one that's taken all that footage and he's making the special. So that's, you know, that's fantastic. That is really cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Well, um, I was going to say that not only this, but um, um, Chesney's worked with producer Lewis, the LP, Pacha Chio? Is that how you say it? <laughs> it's Pacio, Luis Pacio. Oh, oh, Brown. And uh, okay, and um, and he's actually worked with 50 Cents, Alicia Keys, Lady Gaga. I mean, you can't get go wrong there. And so he's really, you know, working with you. So that's saying a lot. Yeah, Vegas contacts go crazy. <laughs> they go crazy. They they've worked with with lots of people. And uh I was really, really blessed to be able to work with him. Um that's the the song hours that I wrote and recorded was with Luis Paccio and it came out super awesome and uh lots of hits on that one, especially on Spotify. Some wow. good stuff coming. Wonderful. And then you have such great endorsements. I mean celebrity endorsements. You've already mentioned the Commodores, but JD Nick Nicholas from the Commodores and Jamie Lynch, lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls. I mean, yeah, yeah. She's my sister. <laughs> We're, we're we're new friends now um yeah she's given me some stage performance lessons since uh i'm not too accustomed to the stage uh since because of the pandemic you know it's kind of put a setback on stuff um but she's she's super awesome uh, and very helpful where this is concerned she uh she performs in front of lots and lots of people um uh, every weekend on on big streets here so super cool to be working with her 
Well, I know you're going to get other celebrity endorsements from Nashville, and they're probably coming soon. So that's wonderful. So what else do you aspire to in the future? Um, I aspire to collab with with bigger artists. I uh, I love collaborating with artists. I love hearing my voice um, on with somebody else's voice on the same song. I think that's really awesome. Uh, so I am waiting for Justin Bieber to call me back. Uh, you know, get something going. <laughs> oh my God, put it out there. I know. I'm I'm waiting. Put it out in the universe. Maybe he'll even hear it. You never know. <laughs> that would be that would be a dream. Okay. Well, um, yeah, this is totally amazing. So um, do you want to do anything with your music publishing? Do you want to, you know, make it available for other writers? I mean, other artists or what would you like to do for now? Just kind of leave it there and just see what happens with your artist career. Basically, I'm just planning on on uh, waiting it out and seeing what happens. Uh, I'm planning on a great future for my music so so we're, we'll see what happens with that <laughs> now what i really liked is that you said that you're not with a label right now but you're just looking for the right opportunity right so right you're a free agent and you're a free bird so i, I am <laughs> that's great that you're just looking for the right opportunity yeah um, I've, i'm always looking for the right opportunity and you know, I feel like that's what's really pushed me since 2019 when I started. Um, my mom is really great with social media and getting in touch with people, and uh, so am I. And so <laughs> we're, together, we're just um, a good team where we're reaching people as concerned and, and getting so far getting to where uh, I want to go. It's going slow, but I know everybody has their own pace and, and stuff, and it might not be slow for me, but <laughs> but it feels good. It's nice. Oh. What are what are the other things you're doing? Are you studying acting? Are you studying dancing? Or are you doing any of that stuff? Um, I was in dance classes right before the pandemic started. Um, I really enjoyed doing dance. It was something that's really out of my comfort zone. I'd like to say because you know I've never never had dance before. Um, but I am wanting to get back into that really shortly. Um, I've also been learning a little bit on the producing side of things. So I've been learning vocal production in, um, in Logic X. It's a vocal production. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really what I've been doing. Just, um, just honing in on, on what I have, teaching myself stage performance, watching lots and lots and lots of YouTube videos, just doing everything self-taught right now. <laughs> Now, Chesney, I just want to say, everybody out there, we want everyone to go and check out your songs, to check out your YouTube videos, because that way they get to know you better and they keep track of your career as you go and as you record more songs and as you release these new songs. Tell everybody the links now, where you are, where they can find you. Sure, I'd love to. Um, if you want to find me on any kind of streaming platform, it's going to be under Chesney Claire. Um, my Instagram is Chesney Claire. My Facebook page is Chesney Claire Music. Uh, you guys can connect with me there. I'm always on there. I'm always posting, giving more and more and more and more content. So uh, tune in there and listen to my songs. Stream, stream and save. <laughs> and your YouTube channel? Yes, I have a YouTube channel too. It's also under Chesney Claire, and I have a website. It's ChesneyClaire.com. You know, you Kathy, I've seen every video she's done. <laughs> I love and it. And I just want to say, look, from Plastic EP and Kathy, we want to wish you all the success in the world. As I said, you got everything in front of you. And, you know, talent is talent. And, you know, real talent, it's like that's what it is, real talent. You just that, – that's what the greatest thing is, having real talent. You agree, Kathy? I agree. I mean, the moment, the second I heard her, the second I looked at her, everything, it was just like – she is a star. You are a superstar, Stacey. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. That means a lot, guys. Well, all I want to say is, uh, Chesney, thank you for being on our show. Keep watching uh, Gem Stars. We've got so many people coming on the show. You know, Kathy, our diary is nearly full now, right? But we've got so many people contacting us now who want to be on. It's unbelievable. So for everyone out there, keep watching. So from Plastic EP... Kathy C.C. Carlson, 
And the fantastic, beautiful looking Chesney Claire. She's got a voice like a songbird. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Chesney. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone.